Welcome to the eMotion LV1 video tutorials. In the last video, we explored the Channel Output section. At the bottom of this panel is the Q button. Use Q to audition or monitor a channel or bus. When a channel's Q button is engaged, that source is sent to the Q bus and then to an I.O. for monitoring, usually to the operator's headphones or monitors. Any channel can be sent to the Q bus. A muted channel continues to send its signal to the Q bus. To configure the Q function, click the gear icon under the Clear Solo button. This opens the Q channel page. You can also use the Channel Select drop down menu to navigate to this page. Open the input list to see the list of all channels and buses being sent to the Q bus. Any mixer channel or bus whose Q button is activated appears here. You can assign a channel to the Q bus here. Or, more commonly, in a channel's output panel or in any mixer layer. Alternate input is a fallback input to the Q bus when nothing else is assigned. Use the drop down menu to select a channel or bus. The default assignment is main, left, right. The Q channel input trim, meter, and phase polarity reverse control the Q bus input. Left and right sides of stereo channels can be locked together or controlled separately. Alternate input is not affected by the input trim setting. The Q plugin rack can hold up to eight plugins. Since there is no central control section in this view, plugins are controlled directly in their plugin panes. Click back to main to return to the Q channel page. The middle section is used to configure the Q solo function. It's divided into two sections, operation and source. Q solo selector toggles between the Q and the solo in place mode. In Q mode, the Q signal is sent to the Q bus and then to IOs for monitoring. The main mix outs are not affected. When you select the solo in place mode, the Q buttons become solo buttons. When a channel's solo button is activated, its signal is sent to the assigned routing. All other channels are muted. Channels that are fed by or used as sources for the solo channel will not be muted. The default setting is Q. When solo is engaged, the mute lights of all channels flash, except the solo channel. Q solo behavior sets whether more than one button can be active at the same time. In single mode, only one channel at a time can be in Q or solo. Latch mode allows multiple selections. Click an activated button again to turn it off. The source section is used to select the Q sources. Each category of channel, input channels, groups, auxes, and so forth, can be assigned specific sources. All channels of a type will exhibit the same source behavior. These source selections are for internal routing to the Q bus and do not affect the Q channel sources to IOs. The Q bus can be patched to any of the available IOs. Select Open List and assign IOs to the Q output. IOs can be assigned to delay groups and their delays adjusted. Trim adjusts the level to the selected IO. Use the Source selector to choose the source of the Q channel output to patched IOs. This setting affects all IOs assigned to the Q channel. When Q or Solo buttons are active, the Clear Solo button in the top bar is illuminated. Click here to clear all Qs and Solos. The eMotion LV1 Q system allows you to monitor specific channels and buses. 
The next lesson is about the talkback function. You can use it for communication or to distribute a signal such as a reference tone. Thanks for watching this eMotion LV1 video tutorial. See you next time.